Welcome to the Art Zone. I'm Trina. Today we're going to create some arts and crafts. I'm so delighted and grateful you're here. In the Art Zone, you'll be inspired and encouraged to explore your artistic genius. In the Crafty Card Zone, join me, Marie, and we will be creative. I'm Melody. I'm a crafty kid in the zone, and later today, Bronson will take us to an artist studio. I'm Brian. Get your recycled materials ready. It's time to be resourceful. Hello, everyone. I'm Erin. It's time to use your imagination. Hi, I'm Havana. And I'm Deanna. Join us in Playtown. Let's get in the zone. zone. Art Zone. Art Zone. In the in Zone. The zone. Today we're in the zone with Melody. Hello everyone. What are we creating today, Trina? Today we're going to make a marionette puppet. We sure have a lot of materials in front of us. These scraps are from old clothes. And this looks like it's from a pair of old jeans. That's exactly right, Melody. We're going to be making a pair of jeans for our puppet. What kind of top shall we make? Well, I think that this fabric will make a great top. What should I do? You can start on the jeans. We've already cut out a pair here and sewn them. They just need to be reversed. And I've already started on a shirt. When you're making your shirt, you want to make sure that the sleeves are long because these act as the arms for the puppet. Have I told you that I'm not a good sewer? That's okay, Melody. The stitches won't be shown because you'll reverse it anyway. And plus, you'll get better with time. That's right. It'll be inside out. And I can always ask my dad for help if I need it. That's right. Just take your time. Remember when you're sewing not to have your thread too long, and that way you'll become a competent sewer. Sewing is a skill that's used in many arts and crafts. This shirt is already finished, so it just needs to be reversed. Sometimes the jeans can be hard to turn inside out, so you can use something to push with. I'm using a ruler. This is going to make a great shirt, warm and cozy. I'm still in my first leg. <laughs> Jean material is a little bit difficult to work with, but it looks really good. Now that we've got the jeans and the shirt made, we're going to start working on the head. Can you pass me the socket, Melody? Are we going to make a boy or a girl puppet? Well, that's up to you, Melody. Um, how about a boy puppet? Sounds good. We're going to make the head out of the socket. It's just a nylon stocking. And we're going to use two so that it's strong. Can you help me with the stuffing? Sure can. And if you don't have any stuffing, no problem, you can always use shredded paper or shredded plastic. 
We always have lots of plastic bags hanging around the house. <laughs> you want to make sure that the head is flat and not lumpy because this will be the face. We have buttons that you can add for the eyes and also some yarn that you can use for the hair. Our puppet seems to be in pieces. Yes, it is in pieces. So we'll have to put all the pieces together. We're going to attach the main string onto the top of the puppet's head, and the other strings will go on the arms and the legs for movement. And we also need hands and feet, so we'll make those out of cardboard. I'll start making the hands and feet now. Good idea. We'll attach the hands and feet with some glue, like this. What's the wooden T for? This is the control center. This is where all of the strings are attached to the T at the top. He's adorable. What should we call him? Well, I don't know. What do you want to call him? Um, how about Jake? Jake is a good name. How do you do, Jake? Would you like to dance? Jake, 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 what a good puppet I make, make, make. Odds on. We're always finding packaging that can be used in different ways. I wonder where this came from. What can we make with it? How can we reuse it? Why should we save things like this? Now, where did this come from? Do you have any answers? It's obviously a squirter top. It could be from a dish soap bottle. I wonder what we could use it for. I have an idea. How about stacking the top on one of the shelves at the grocery store? and pretend it's a cake. Or we could put two together for wheels on a car or a wagon. There are so many things we can create. It's just how you look at things. It takes energy to create all these recyclable materials. The energy comes from water, fire, earth, and air. Elements that we need to respect. What mystery materials can you find? Get down to Playtown. on Playtown. We made Playtown out of many different recycled materials. It's fun owning your own town. Anything can happen in Playtown. Are you girls ready to get started on a new Playtown project? Are you set, Havana? Ready, set, let's start creating. We can make something for the Friendship Center. Let's take a look to see what there is and how things were made. Here's a water cooler. It was made out of a blue plastic container. That seems easy. What else is in the Friendship Center? Well, here's a really sturdy cupboard, and it was made out of a box with drawings of the doors on front. What else is there, Havana? There's a picture with a seed, made out of a picture with a garden. Girls, what's missing from the Friendship Center? There's no ping pong table. Every Friendship Center needs a ping pong table. Deanna, Havana, why don't you two go to the collection table and get some crafty bits? Okay. We need a piece of cardboard. And some scraps of sheer material. And some little wooden sticks. Let's not forget a piece of styrofoam for the ping pong ball. I see you've got all the materials we'll need. Let's get started. I cut out the ping pong table from a cardboard. 
You'll need legs to put the cardboard on. You can use these popsicle sticks. Great, and I'll cut the net out from this sheer material. Havana and Deanna, do you want to paint this? And you can just leave the edges white, just like they are for a border, and then leave the middle white as well for where the net's going to go. So you can get started painting on that. Deanna, can you pass the green paint in a brush, please? Well, since you said please. So before you paint, just pull up your sleeve so you don't get any paint on you. Okay, and I'm going to take this sheer material and I'm going to make a net. And I'm just going to try to make it approximately the same size across as the table so that it fits. I got this sheer from an old curtain. I never throw anything away if I can reuse it or if I can make it into something new. That's a good policy. I'm going to use these sticks on either side of the sheer material and then we'll just place them right on top of the ping pong table. I'm going to try to make these sticks as even as possible so that our net is straight. How's your painting going, Havana? Good. How's yours? Good. Trina, how's your project going? It's great. I'm just going to be adding some glue to these sticks so that it'll stick to the sheer net. Do you girls like to play ping pong? I've never played, but it looks interesting. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Are you just about done, Deanna? Almost. That's looking really good, girls. Thank, Thank you. you, Latrina. Well, this is coming along quite nicely. So when you're using the paint, you can only use just a little bit, just not a lot. Because you won't make a big mess. I'm done, are you, Deanna? Just about. I'm done. You did good, Havana. Me too. Thanks. That's good. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. So while that's drying, you girls want to make some ping pong paddles? Okay. okay. All right, let me put this down here. And we'll just make them out of these pieces of cardboard. And then you can color them in ping pong color. Okay. okay. So this looks really nice. The girls have filled in the ping pong area green and they've left a nice white border around the edge and a line down the middle. And then Wanna we'll up? place our net across there and we'll add our legs a little bit later. Just about done. Now I'm going to cut out my ping pong paddle. Here's a ping pong table that we finished earlier. Complete with ping pong paddles. We need a ping pong ball. We can use the styrofoam and take one single piece out and there we have our ping pong ball. We should put it in the friendship center now. Mm -hmm. Ping pong anyone? Sure, bring out your paddles.
We're now going to take a look again at how to make a marionette puppet. You will need cardboard, string, fabric, sticks, markers, sockets, yarn, and a needle and thread. Make a little pattern for a pair of jeans, then sew them inside out. The shirt will be proportional to the pants. Make hands and feet out of cardboard. Stuff a socket, add facial details, yarn for hair, and you have the puppet's head. Need a hat? Make one now. Attach strings to the top of the head, hands, and knees. Tie the strings to a wooden tee. Your puppet is ready to dance. Odd zone. Hey kids, welcome to Artsville. My name is Bronson and today we're going to visit an extraordinary artist. Are you with me? Okay, let's do this. Are you guys ready to come chill with Mr. Anthony, Mr. Multi-Talented Artist? Artiste? We get a bang. You guys ready? Check it out. Hello, how you doing? Hey, how you doing, Anthony? Oh, not too bad. It's good to see you guys. Good to see you too. Yeah. You guys ready to join us? That's my art collection. Oh, figurines. Bit of antiquity there. Well, thanks for inviting us over. Oh, it's good to be here. Good to have you guys over. We got Tonto over here. Yeah. Got a bunch of Indians. Yeah, it's my collection. What inspired you to collect all these little action figures? Well, when I was young, a lot of my friends could afford a lot of toys I couldn't afford. So as I got a little older, this is more recent times, uh, I went out of my way to purchase these guys because uh, they're now like antiques. So you don't only have these little action figures here too, you also have these flutes over here. Yeah, um, I've been playing flute music for quite a long time. I play classical flutes and I play traditional classical or First Nations flutes from North America, South America. I love playing them and I love playing for the, for the general public because it's, it's, a, it's who I serve, you know. But uh, if you want to hear a little bit. Yeah, why don't you, why don't you do something? You got a nice painting back here. What's up with this? Um, this particular painting I did a few years ago. It took me about three days of just solid painstaking work. And this is sort of more representative of me looking out my window and on my, uh, on my off time, you know, because, um, and I needed something to reflect on that because, you know, when it gets summery here in Vancouver, you don't see any rain. <laughs> <laughs> so it's nice that I can look back at this. Do you sell any of this stuff or not, like, do you sell any of your paintings or? Uh, from time to time, I'll, I'll sell my work. But, like, for me, it's not, um, um, my whole, my whole issue about being an artist is is being able to get out there and show your work. It's not necessarily about selling it. It's nice to sell work, but really when it comes down to it, it's, it's best to get the exposure and, and be creative and be interactive with the public. Well, I'd like to thank you for inviting us over to your house and your, your studio. Yes, yes. And I was wondering, do you think I can take one of these? Well, you can take that, that man on the horse right there. 
Ah, a more modern guy, eh? This yeah, it's from Britain. It's uh, Britain's company, actually, but yeah. Well, you heard him. It's always important to follow your dreams and give an honest effort. You can be anything you want with a little drive and focus. I'll see you guys later. Hey, did you see that again so I could see how it's done? Take a look again. We're going to take a look again how to make a ping pong table. You will need cardboard, shear, popsicle sticks, material, and little wooden sticks. Don't forget a little piece of styrofoam for the ping pong ball. Cut the cardboard in a rectangular shape. Paint it green. Remember to paint a white border around the edge and a white stripe down the middle, or use white cardboard. Cut the sheer material to fit across the cardboard. Attach the sheer material to little wooden sticks, then glue to the table. Add your legs. Make your ping pong paddles. You're ready for a game of ping pong. Everyone loves a card on special occasions. I always like to make my own. Cards are extra special when you make them yourself. Meaningful words can brighten up anyone's day. So let's get busy and make our special card. Today, we are going to be making a scene on a card. I drew a landscape scene. Ryan, that looks terrific. Thank you. What shall we use, felts or pencil crayons? We can try both on our landscape. I like mountains with snow caps. We've made some nice high mountains, like the Rockies. I've seen the Rockies before. It's like the mountains were tickling the clouds. I've created a beautiful sunny day. Brian, would you like to color the sun in the sky? Yes, I would. I think our scene needs more color. Yes. using both felts and pencil crayons. I usually use just one of these, never both. That's the beauty of art. You can create with as many mediums as you like. Medium is another word for artistic materials. A scenic wonder for someone special. Thanks for joining us. I hope you had fun creating with us in the art zone. Be good, be proud, and be respectful of the natural world. See you soon. <laughs> Just like John here. John is not. <laughs> Take a look around, man. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm making materials for creativity. Now you're in the zone. Maybe you're home. Your skills in the hot zone. Jimmy. My name is Jimmy. Jimmy, <laughs> 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 <laughs